All right, this is Unit 7, Video 2, Multiplying Polynomials. All right, so in this one, you'll notice that we have um, a distributive property you have to take care of. So we have this 4 outside the parentheses. So we need to make sure that we distribute the 4, okay? And then it's exactly like the previous video, okay? So we have 4 times a. Now remember, that's a 1 there. So 4 times 1 is 4, so this is 4a. And then we have 4 times 2, which is 8. Now, the 6a is not in there. It's still part of the problem, so I'm going to bring it down. Now, it's exactly like what we did in video 1. We're going to combine like terms. So, the 4a is like the 6a. So, 4a plus 6a is 10a. And then the 8 has nothing to combine with, so I'm going to bring it down, and that's my answer. Now, remember, when you're adding, you do nothing with the exponents. Okay. They just stay exactly the same. All right, next one. This one's a little longer. So I have two sets of parentheses, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So I have 7x squared times 4x. So 7 times 4 is 28. Okay, and then I have x to the second times x, which is x to the third. Remember, this is multiplication, so we add exponents. Now I have 7x squared times a negative 3, which is negative 21x to the second. Okay, I got rid of that. Now I have to distribute my negative 3x. So negative 3x times 5x squared is negative 15x to the third. Remember, that's a 1. All right, and then we have negative 3x times a negative 4x. Negative times a negative is a positive. 3 times 4 is 12. And then x times x is x to the second. Remember, those are 1, so you add in multiplication. And then the last one is negative 3x times 7, which is negative 21x. That's your first step. Always get rid of the parentheses first. Now we're going to combine like terms. Okay. So I have an x to the third. You always start with your highest exponent and work your way down. So my highest exponent is to the third power. So I'm going to take 28x to the third and a negative 15x to the third. So 28 minus 15 is 13. And remember the variable does not change when you're adding or subtracting. Okay, now I have negative 21x squared and 12x squared, which gives me negative 9x squared. And then the last one, I have this negative 21x that doesn't combine with anything. So I bring it down, and that's my answer. All right, last one's find the area. So area equals base times height. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one's which, so area is going to equal the base, so let's say that's 9x, times the height, which is negative 6x to the second, plus 4x minus 3. Okay. So you really don't need these parentheses. Okay, it is multiplication. All right, and then I'm just going to find the area, which means I'm going to multiply the base times the height. So we are going to distribute. So 9x times negative 6x squared. Remember, that has a 1. Multiplying, so we're adding exponents. So 9 times negative 6 is negative 54. And then I have x to the third. And then I have 9x times 4x. So 9 times 4 is 36. And if I add my exponents, I get squared. And then 9x times negative 3. So 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. And I have the x. And that is my answer.